Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So for a while I've been meaning to do a video on my split cups and exactly why split cup? Like why not just use a regular cup? What's the difference? And then coming up really soon will be a video on the different ways you can use different split cups. That will be a little bit longer because there's cups with many different splits and there's different techniques you can do with it. But for today, I'm just gonna show you the difference between using a split cup and a single split. So first of all, this is my uh, split cup with four compartments or triple split because it has three splits in it, whichever you want to call it. It's a 10 ounce cup. Um, I have single split, the double split and the triple split. Like here is a single split. So two compartments, one split. And um, I have them in 10 ounces and then in 16 ounces. And the single split I also have in 32 ounces for those who like to do really big paintings. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the same colors. I'm going to use white and I think one other color in one compartment on this cup. And then that will be the first color I also put in this cup. Now I can't exactly pour them perfectly evenly, but I'm going to kind of try. So I think the other color I'll put in here will be yellow. And this is just primary yellow. These are all mixed media girl paints, by the way. Okay, good. And next we're gonna go ahead and go with pink. This is pink tulip. And I'm gonna fill this whole compartment with pink. And then I'll basically do an equal amount of pink here. And I'm pouring really slowly so we get minimal air bubbles. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and do copper. And may not have enough for this whole compartment. Let me see. I'm gonna put half copper there, <laughs> half copper here. Okay, good. And then let's go ahead and do meadow green. So I'm actually gonna do the next compartment with meadow green here. So I gotta figure out a color to put there. Let's do orange. This will be very bright springy. So I'm gonna do orange here. Just filling up the rest of that compartment. Which would make orange also the next color here. And then lots of green. Okay, so each cup should now have about eight ounces. Let me go ahead and just finish this little compartment here. This is a nine ounce cup over here. And I'm gonna do the same technique. I'm gonna do just a straight pour. So I'm not gonna do a tree ring or anything. I'm just gonna pour the colors straight. So let's start with the split cup. I'm right handed, so I'm gonna go right in the middle here. And this is purely to demonstrate the difference between using a split cup and a regular cup. Even layering the colors in there virtually the same. Now you can layer the colors within the split cup compartments. So in two compartments, I kind of layered them a little bit in the compartment. Or you can just put one color in each. Totally up to you. But either one, you're still not gonna get the same result as using just the one cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this one. Same thing, straight pour. Okay, so main differences here is these, you can literally see like each quadrant of color. They stay very separate. These blend together a lot more I had that uh, green kind of come out all at the end there, but otherwise the colors are a lot more blended. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt this one. That one's already running off the canvas a little bit, so I'm going to go semi-fast. Okay, I lost quite a bit of my yellow on here. That's okay. All right, so there's that. Now 
and I'm not tilting as slow as slowly as I normally would or anything but I think I tilted these at about the same speed so there we go okay the sole purpose of this is not to make the most beautiful painting ever or anything like that but is to just show you the difference so sometimes people complain about their colors mixing too much or maybe you want one color to really stand out or to go in between all of the other colors you're not going to get that layering in a regular cup necessarily but you can definitely achieve that look with a split cup and you can layer the colors in a split cup and then keep one compartment with one color like there's so many different things that you can do the cool thing about it being that you can really sorry my hands are covered with paint but you can really 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 keep your colors separate bright vibrant and clear whereas doing it all in one cup you're going to get a lot more mixture neither is bad neither is wrong it's all a matter of per personal preference but i like the options that you can get with the split cup that no matter how you pour in a regular cup you're probably not going to necessarily get that so let's go ahead and we'll do a close-up on both of these all right, so starting here with the split cup, and we have just very, very separate colors. You can see each individual color in here. Did lose quite a bit of the yellow because it was just kind of sitting on top of that white, but even that, we got some of that in there. Okay, here's the one layered in the regular cup. Now, out of these two paintings, I absolutely like this one more. But that's just also my personal style <laughs> um, and like I said I'm not going for like the most beautiful paintings in the world on this I just wanted to show you the difference um, one other thing too is like in a cup you know how I put the green on the top and we pretty much lost most of that green you can avoid that in a split cup to where you can have more of the colors actually coming out so that's another thing with the split cup. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you can check out the split cups in my store on my website, mixmediagirl.com. And there are times that I love to use a split cup. There's times that I love to use a regular cup. It's just a great option. They're reusable, which I also really like. And it just, it opens the door to all kinds of possibilities. So stay tuned. Coming up soon, I'll be doing the video on the different techniques that you can do with a split cup. This was just one technique. There's a whole bunch that you can do. And I will see you all next time.